This is Malorian, and this will be another War Machine Battle Report at 50 points. And uh, it's going to be practicing for this uh, Onslaught Tournament that's going to be coming up next weekend. And uh, this is going to be a lot of fun because I just found myself a new group. I've been trying to find uh, a late night group that I could join to get these games in. And it uh, turns out there's one not too far away. So I came down to try and do that. My two lists being Kane 2 and Striker 2. And uh, he's a circle player. And what he's running is Kruger 2 and Kaya 2. And uh, the Kaya 2 is actually the tier list. And so when I took a look at it, I really didn't feel that I could drop my Striker 2 because not only could the, the Kruger 2 feet catch me and cause me some issues, but as well, in the Kaya 2 list, uh, there are these, you know, like, Ravengers, whatever, uh, they got the start with a blood token or whatever already, and I mean, with all the berserking stalkers and all this stuff, I just didn't really like it, so Kane 2 it is. So it turns out that it's going to be Kane 2 versus Kruger 2. Uh, my list is Kane running the one Stormwall and then also the Squire. I have two units of the Rangers, uh, then the Junior is running a Nether Stormwall, and I also have Reinholtz, and there is also the Tinker there as well. Now, Kruger 2 on his side is going to have Gedrix, is going to have a Stalker, is going to have the Gorax. He's going to have two units of stones, one at the UA. He is going to be having two of the Gallows Grows. He's going to have the Druids with the uh, the UA, I believe it is. Uh, he's also going to have a Black Clad, and he's also going to be running the Falconer. First time we get to see the Falconer there, uh, running the Rotterhorn and uh, the Razor Wing. The scenario here is going to be kill box. It's up to five as always. You get one for controlling the zone, two for dominating. And then you can also uh, dominate the friendly flag for one and control for one, dominate to, for two for the enemy flag. So basically what my plan is here to do is to move up, toe into that zone so he can't feet me out for an easy scenario win. Uh, I'm going to be having first turn, so I'll be able to get the jump on that. And then after that, to start whittling him down and shooting down his stuff. So I get first turn, a little bit of a blurry picture here, but really I allocate one to either Jack. They're going to be running up. I get True Shot up on myself, Arcane Shield up onto the Pink Storm Wall, and then the Rangers holding a little bit back. I'm going to be smarter this time and not just lose my Rangers for no reason. All right, going on to his turn now, and we got rings everywhere. Uh, and this is going to be mainly because I must have missed a picture here, unfortunately. Uh, so what happened is that he's actually recording this. Uh, he's going to have it up on his channel as well. But uh, it kind of threw me off. I had this all the time where, you know, since I knew it was being recorded, like when I recorded, I was like, oh, I don't need to pay, take pictures. Oh, wait, it's not my video. So uh, hopefully this is the only picture I'm going to miss. But on his turn, all of his druids are going to come up. They're going to be doing the... Uh, clouds, there's going to be one that did counter magic. Uh, otherwise, Kruger comes up and does his stupid spell where if I'm within his control range, I'm minus four range, and or five range. And that is horrendously bad. I, I This is just my second time facing Kruger 2, and uh, yeah, it's I, I totally forgot about it. So uh, that's really all he got done in his turn. Otherwise, it's kind of like shifting up. Uh, as well, he tried like arcing towards me with his one uh gallows on the right one of his aoe's but it scatters off and no big deal so going on to my turn uh the biggest thing i wanted to do is i want to kill uh at least one of the sets of stones the the gray one is going to be the regular ones the ones with the blue ring around is going to be the stealth ones but i want to kill one stone i want to kill the gallows grove on the right and then just as many druids as i could <clears throat> so really <clears throat> sorry i take one off the squire i use that to upkeep I then, of course, upkeep the uh, pink Stormwall's Arcane Shield, allocate two to it. The right Stormwall is going to move up, and I'm going to put a shot into that tree there, and uh, I'm only going to do four damage to it. So that kind of sucks. Uh, 
the one ranger ran up there, and that's going to allow me to uh, also shoot the one that had counter magic. So th good to have that guy gone. I might have allocated one to make sure that happened. Can't remember, but either way, the counter magic one was gone. Uh, Kane then moved up to try and shoot them all down. And uh, unfortunately, between that rock and Kane, or the storm wall rather, I didn't leave enough room for my base to get through. So I did one magic bullet, which was able to help kill another druid. But I only had a two in range, so I kill basically three, one with the magic bullet, and then pop on back. Now, the uh, left storm wall was able to shoot the one stone. If you can see how the clouds are there, I kind of have like a little line to go through to get the one gray stone. And so I hit it, and I'm like, yeah, boost of damage, four points of damage. <laughs> so, uh, you know, is this one going to be one of those games? But no big deal. I'm, I'm sitting in a pretty good spot here. Uh, Rangers otherwise respecting him and staying pretty far back. Uh, of course, I gate crash back with Kane, and that was my turn. So his turn here, I'm going to now regret me not killing his uh, druids because he still has the three to make the three clouds, so that kind of sucks. Uh, otherwise, you have Kruger there behind. Uh, he's going to pop his feet, and that only really caught the two storm walls, Kane, and the one ranger, so that's going to really put a damper on me. Uh, otherwise he has the same little spell going up saying minus five range and with Kruger being so far up That's a pretty big deal. So anyway, uh, the stalker went into the woods on the left really getting into a threatening position uh, Stones are there that they can teleport it up and as you can see on the right uh, Those griffins really trying to get up there to kind of threaten my my rangers. So uh, really after this I'm not in a really position to do a whole bunch of a lot of my turn, uh, especially with that feet going up, so I don't have a lot of movement. So what I really want to do is kind of make sure that I mitigate as much as possible so that he doesn't just, like, kill me. So how I do that is measuring and looking at the Gedrix. Uh He has a range of 11, uh, so if I'm really just at the tip of the zone, he should not be able to get to me. So that's where I go. I put a pod over to do a little bit of damage to the one... Uh, stealth stone there and then otherwise do some shots which I don't believe do anything else put up some covering fire uh, The Rangers on the left go up and they're able to finish off that stone. So that's really good uh, Otherwise the uh, one Ranger moves back up to be marking stuff the other Rangers moving away from those uh, Griffins and stuff uh, the uh, right storm wall moves up and I'm going to be able to shoot down or rather use the pod to go and destroy the one gallows grove so nice to have that off i'm also able to shoot down one of the druids so that's okay see and remember i destroyed one of the other stones too yeah i did so he is really just down to uh, no teleportation because i've destroyed one of each of the stones so that's good to have and then this is what i did here i mean looking at this uh he may be able to destroy the left storm wall if I, I'd called things off wrong. So what I want to do is put myself in a position where, sure, you can focus on my left storm wall. I'm going to set myself up for assassination. So what I do is I put blur on myself and kind of present myself. Now, it was kind of dumb because I upkept the true shot, so I kind of wasted a uh, focus. But, you know... I know that Kruger 2 likes to do shooting assassinations, and so I'm going to do this uh, knowing that he probably can't kill me at defense 20, and then if he fails, I can counter-assassinate. So what happens is that on the left side, he does his best to kind of move around and kind of kill some rangers. Uh, I was glad to see the stalker go after the rangers because then I knew that, okay, well, I guess nothing's going after my storm wall. Uh, then the black clad goes and uh, Hunter's marks my storm wall, so all of a sudden that plus two range means that he threatens 13, and so he's able to zip up and get to my storm wall. Uh, he didn't primal it because he probably was thinking about the long game, and so he's able to take out the left half of the storm wall, but that's it. Uh, otherwise, you know, you have the Griffins moving up on the right side, but uh, the thing that happened with Kruger that was a little bit scary is that Kruger does go for the assassination, which was, uh, uh, you know, what I was trying to bait him into doing. And what he does, though, is goes for a gallows. You know, I thought he was going to be shooting me, but he goes for a lightning strike. He goes for a gallows, and he was going to try and pull me out so that uh, the Gedericks could charge me. But uh, he misses. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that I would have hit either the impassable or the storm wall if he tried to pull me through. Uh, but either way, he missed the defense 20. He hides. 
Uh, he has now camping zero. He puts a, uh, the Gedrix, or sorry, the Gorax there to block the line of sight. But really, with my movement seven, I can get around that anyway. So all I have to do is uh, run up a ranger, uh, get the storm wall out of the way, come over here, pop feet, and pow, pow, pow. That's going to be it. So uh, a victory for Kane. Uh, I really don't like Kruger 2. That minus 5 range really sucks. But uh, good to see I was able to get through it, uh, especially because of trying out this new technique of giving up the bad assassination so I can counter assassinate. So uh, hopefully that's a tool I can use more of in the future. But either way, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.